Hey, getting ready to go to Costco real quick and gonna make you a video, not a workout video, but uh, something about things that have just really got me just mm, irritated, right? So I know everyone has that. And you're probably irritated with some of my videos and things, and you know what? You know, hit the unfriend button and, fo and follow. You're not the first, and you won't be the last. But I'm here being me, and I will continue to be me. So here's my thing. Stop calling people skinny and stop giving backhanded compliments to people that are trying to make their lives better based on their own will and decision. I see a lot of times people on my team, not on my team, you know, everyone out here that I, I don't unfollow anybody unless it's really like vulgar. But here's the thing. A lot of these girls, especially girls, you girls need to understand if you tell someone that is trying to exercise, be healthier, and, and make better decisions in in losing weight while while is is like the secondary effect of trying to feel better. Here's the thing. They're they're wanting to be fit. They're not wanting to be skinny. Being fit is completely different. There's two words that we don't use in our house, skinny and fat. Two things that you need to stop calling people and saying to people because vice versa, you know, a fat person, you know, no one's fat. But if you're saying someone's skinny and you can't ever be like that, that's up in your head. You gotta change your head. You know, you gotta change your mindset. Each person's a little different genetically, but you know what? If you're getting up and you're working out 30 minutes a day and you're eating right and, and you're doing the proper nutrition, getting fit is the byproduct of wanting to feel better. And that's what these people are wanting to do. So the next time you tell someone like, I don't know why you're starting a workout program. You were so pretty and healthy before. I liked you the way you were before. That's negative. Stop saying that to people because it's only there. You're only saying it to bring them down. All you're doing is making an excuse for you of not starting something. You're jealous that they've made the decision to start. And you can't deny that fact because here's the thing. All you need to do is say, you look great before, but I'm so proud of you making the decision to be healthier and to live a healthier lifestyle because you know what? I'd like to do that too. And you're so motivating to me. And I hope and wish you the best success. And I know you're going to be able to do it. Something like that. And next time you see someone that's in a size four or size two jeans or size six jeans that's a female, and you say, ah, oh, that skinny bitch, like she, I can't believe that she, she just does not have to work for that. And I'll tell you now, most of those girls have to work for it. If they're not, they're not healthy. If they're not, if they're just naturally thin and they're not eating right, it, it just, it's not possible to feel healthy too. So. Next time, I know a lot of girls that are fit, they're ripped, and, and you know what? They're doing it for them. They're not doing it for anybody else. So guys, wake up. If your girl wants to get healthy, she wants to get fit, let her do it. Let her make that decision, because you know what? It'll be the best decision in your life, because it'll help you have a better and healthier life, too, if she's happy. Let her be happy with her. So. Don't, don't make people feel like they need to be comfortable with where they're at if they're not comfortable. So here's the, here's the thing, I googled what skinny means. You know, skinny, if you're gonna call someone skinny, you might as well be calling them scrawny, gaunt, skeletal, underfed, undernourished, hollow-cheeked, angular. Next time you wanna call someone skinny, go up and say one of those words and see what happens. I guarantee you it won't be a backhanded smack, it'll be a front-handed smack because it's rude. So. Be positive, people. Motivate these girls. Motivate these guys that are in here like busting their ass trying to be better. They're not doing it to prove people wrong. They're doing it to prove their self wrong. And they're doing it to be better. So if you can give some positive reinforcement to people and you encourage them that way, I guarantee you your life will be a lot better going through your news feed and seeing things like, hey, you know, that's awesome. Because you know what? He motivated me to do this, this, and this. Or she motivated me to do this. And now, you know, I feel better too. So make it about them. Make it about them and not about you when you say something and comment. Because you know what? We need to lift each other up. By lifting each other up, it makes us better people. So I hope this video gets through to some people. And if you don't like it, like I said, go up there and hit the unfollow and unfriend button. Hell, I've had family do it. You know what? I don't care. I'm being me and I'm going to be unapologetically me. I don't want to appeal to everyone. So I know there's some of you out there I don't appeal to. Get off the bus. That's all it takes. So I'm here for the people that love me. 
that I love them and I'm here to motivate and support. So let's do this, let's be strong and keep pushing and play and keep get, you know doing your nutrition right and, 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 and being positive. So thanks, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.